The following video shows you how you can add a parametric PLC into the PLC database. So first thing we're going to do is create a new manufacturer. And then we're going to create a new series. And then create a new type which we'll call try and follow one of the other we'll call a discrete combination and then we're going to create a new module and this is where we can obviously again copy actually I believe it's got 16 and 16 I've just had a look at the data sheet so we just copy give it a description Give it a rating, give it addressable points and numbers of terminals. So as an example, we want 32 addressable points and we want 36 connections to the device. We can defer, define module prompts as well. So if this is slot based, we could say, okay, number one, there's multiple slots we can say okay this is going to be called slot one slot two slot three and we go through the process of defining the connections so on a screwed connection the first eight connections are all digital inputs so the first one is always a module info point and thereafter it's an input io point and we can copy that to the remaining connections. The next one is a common, so that's a terminal point wire right, and that's called DICOM. So you can actually give it a description as well in here, DICOM. And we might as well add descriptions to these. We basically finish off the rest of the connections so we're now on a digital outputs so this is a um, an output module io point wire right And we repeat the process for the remaining connections on the other side. So we've now defined all of the connections, um, including the U sub at the end. Um, you can see on the connection which is not connected, 
we've put on here show when including unused only and also I've put an automatic break after the terminal point white right so in other words after the first um, combined 16 inputs and outputs uh, just to separate them have one on one sheet and one on the other as such so we're just going to try this out and see what happens with it and say done and insert obviously save and we are doing this in an empty drawing rather than a schematic but it doesn't make any difference I'll just turn grid off so you can see what's going on and then we can place this down and we'll have a 10mm uh, picture would be, would be fine um, you can see if we include extra connections it just increases the module ever so slightly that's because of the NC connection on pin 27 um, this module already has a predefined breakpoint so this will automatically break when it gets to the first connection point obviously you can define your connection your inputs and outputs whatever the address system or nodal system is let's pretend it's 0001 as an example say OK and when it gets to the break module I can either break or continue with no break if I continue with no break it continues the module all in one hit and then you can decide whether it's octal, decimal, hexadecimal, etc. And you can see, as you can see, there's your national instruments, NI9375 module being placed. If I repeat that command again, well, this time I'm going to do a break. And again, we'll place it down and say OK. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same address, but we'll just do that just to, for comparison. Well, this time, we're going to break the module. And as you can see, um, it does a zigzag to say that the module's breaked. If I escape out, the data for remaining points, terminal points, will be remembered within the session of AutoCAD. What that means is I could go into another drawing, I could select the PLC command and then I can continue the module on a different page altogether if I wish.